In this video, we're going to continue our work with the rules of indices and look at the zero power. I'm going to start off with powers of 2. 2 to the power of 5 gives me 32. 2 to the power of 4 gives me 16. 2 to the power of 3, or if you like, 2 cubed, gives me 8. 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, gives me 4. And then we've got 2 to the power of 1, which of course it gives me 2. If we study the left hand side, each time we're simply subtracting 1 from the power. If we look at the right hand side, this is being divided by 2, 2 being the base. So 32 divided by 2 is 16, divided by 2 is 8, and so on and so forth. If we continue this pattern, on the left hand side, our next value will be 2 to the power of 0. All I've done is subtracted 1 from the power. On the right hand side, we need to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. If we take another number, let's take 5. If I do 5 to the power of 5, what's that? 3, 1, 2, 5. 5 to the power of 4 is going to give me 625. 5 to the power of 3 is going to give me 1, 2, 5. 5 squared, or 5 to the power of 2, is 25. And then 5 to the power of 1 clearly is going to give us 5. We're subtracting 1 on the left-hand side with the power, and we're dividing by the base on the right-hand side. So 5 to the power of 0 is going to be 5 divided by 5, which gives me 1. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 5 to the power of 0 is 1, and in general we can say a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we're going to use this law now on a few examples and look at simplifying some expressions. On the first one, it says here, simplify the following. In A, we've got 3 to the 0. 3 to the 0 is just going to give us 1. A to the 0, again, we've just seen A to the 0 will give us 1. This one here is slightly different. We've got 3 lots of M to the 0. So the 3 isn't raised to the 0. So what this is saying is 3 times by M to the 0. So we've got 3 times by 1, which of course is 3. This time, the 6 is in the brackets, and the whole bracket is raised to the power of 0. Therefore, the whole bracket would evaluate to give us 1. No matter what I put in there, so for example, if I had 25 to the half, x cubed, y to the minus 1, z to the fourth, if I raise this to the 0 power, the bracket will evaluate to give 1. OK, let's look at this one. So we've got m to the power 5 multiplied by 6m, and that's over 3m to the 6. We could use a few different approaches to this, but um, what I'm going to do is look at using the zero power. So what we've got then, we'll simplify, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So what I'm going to have then is 2, and then I'm going to multiply that now by m to the power of 5 multiplied by m to the power of 1 is going to give me m to the power of 6. We see that in a previous video. We've got m to the power of 6. At this stage, you could simply go ahead and cancel and write that this was going to be 2 times 1. So in an exam, we would uh, be, it would be happily, we could happily cancel off as these have the same value. What we could have used, though, is a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a to the m minus n. So what we'd have is 6 minus 6, so we'd end up now with 2, and then we'd have m to the 0, which of course is 2 times by 1, which is going to give us 2. I would prefer to go for this approach, but if you were ever asked to show using the zero power rule of how this gives us 2, then we could simply go for division. We subtract the powers if the base is the same. It gives us m to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So there we go, a brief tutorial looking at the zero power. So in short, a to the power of zero is equal to one. 